traffic signal in East Cleveland that isn't working may not be broken after all. The light's been flashing red for three weeks now. Tonight, we learned the city may have disabled it on purpose. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin spoke with East Cleveland's mayor and has information you'll hear only on 5. Yeah, Danita, the traffic light behind me has some people mad and have other people confused. But when I talk to the mayor tonight, this light may be more about economics. Off camera, I talked to East Cleveland Mayor Gary Norton. When I asked him about the light, he didn't say it was broken or needed to be fixed. He did admit it can be used to generate revenue, although he said, quote, it's about safety, not about money. The flashing light, along with the stop sign, has caused some confusion with drivers, some running right through it. If you don't make a complete stop, you get a ticket of at least $95. Norton said he doesn't know if the red light camera behind the traffic light has generated any tickets at all. He said the information is sent to an outside company, which determines whether or not you get one. Yesterday, during a protest of the traffic light, we saw East Cleveland Councilman Nathaniel Martin. It's a dangerous intersection. This is Euclid Avenue. It's a long street. It's our main street, and we have a lot of traffic. Thousands of cars come through here every day. So it, I have a, a deep concern. That's why I'm here this morning. Yet during the city council meeting tonight, while the mayor was present, Councilman Martin never confronted the mayor about his concerns. Now, Mayor Norton said East Cleveland is struggling to generate revenue. He said of the 17,000 or so people that live in the city, about 7,000 are retired or disabled, 2,000 are unemployed, and just over 5,000 have taxable incomes. All right, we're live and on your side in East Cleveland. I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5.